Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aki. This is the first time and for those who's been watching, thank you so much for coming back. Today I wanted to do a recording plus talk about, I don't know if they're called pests, but I guess you could call it a pest. So I adopted this Monstera, beautiful Monstera de Sonyai, not de Sonyai, uh, I'm sorry, Monstera Deliciosia from my neighbor plant friend. She had it on her Instagram that she was going to get rid of her and she had it in her balcony. So I told her like, put her back in, I'm going to adopt her. So she told me that she just couldn't stand this bug problem that she was having. She said she was having a worms inside her pot, which is like, worms are good for plants, you know, they're good for soil. They, you know, make the soil rich. But um, I went to pick it up and saw the actual bug that was like crawling out of her pot. It was a white tiny worm, it's not like the brown, you know, the worm that I was expecting. So I took it home and then um, <laughs> I was like checking the top of the soil and realized I saw some, um, looks like, you know, the bug with a lot of legs, like centipedes or millipedes. So I saw one of those. And then I thought the soil looked a little dry, so I thought I watered them. And I water it as soon like and I came back ten minutes to look at the plant again and then realized there was like a bunch of one of these centipede or millipedes like crawling around the pot. <laughs> few is okay, but like that was way too many. And um, yeah, the bug was legs. I don't really like, like worms are okay, but like <laughs> uh, centipede or millipede, that's like, no, thank you. <laughs> so I did some research because I was checking. Well, I needed to see whether it's a centipede or millipede. So I was looking up the pictures and all the information as asked around. And um, so the thing is that I found that it's a millipede. And I will put a, sorry, there's going to be warning that there's going to be the actual footage of the, the millipedes that I found in my pots so that I could show you. If you do see it in your pot, you could identify whether it's a centipede or a millipede. So this is a millipede. And the way you can tell is that, um, so millipede has two sets of legs and one body segment. So if you look at close, like I'll put it there, somewhere here. If you look at close on this millipede's body, they're like all separated in a segment. And if you check the legs, it, like centipedes has like two legs like this, like coming out of from one segment body. And then, no, I said millipede, so I'm like making everything complicated, confusing, sorry. So millipede has two pairs of legs attached to one segment of the body. And centipede has one set of legs coming from one segment of the body. So I will put it somewhere with the explanation or like pointing, you know, where the legs and stuff. But, um, and then I checked whether they're good for plants or not. So, centipedes are not really good for plants. Um, they they like the moist, um, uh, they like the moist like um, soil, and they also eat the dead, um, you know, dead leaves or dead um, tree barks or stuff like that. So that part is good, but when the soil start to get dry, and there's nothing else to eat, they will start eating the roots. So that's the problem. If they didn't do that, I wouldn't, you know, hi you. I would, I would be okay, but okay. centipedes will eat the roots when there's nothing for them to eat or when the soil is too dry. And millipedes, they will they will not, they will, yes, you're seeing constants in the car, I cannot get it right now. And millipedes are, um, they're totally fine to plant, and they will not harm any roots as well. And they also eat all the dead leaves or dead, um, whatever dead stuff that they can find. So those are really good. 
but it just looks nasty, you know? It looks like really scary and nasty. I'm sorry. This might take a while to talk about this. Anyway, and another thing is that um, so centipede will bite human. So even though they're good for plants, they will bite us. So I still don't want them in the house, I guess. And millipedes will not bite human. So at least they will not bite me. <laughs> But they will attack my plants eventually if there's nothing else to eat. And they multiply, like, so quickly. I don't even know how many centipedes are in here, but, like, last night, because I was a little, like, paranoid about, because I saw so many bugs in there, I um, scored it with a insecticide, and <laughs> a bunch of them tried to come out of the soil. And they also, like, crawl out from the, the drainage hole. <laughs> It was like, you can, I mean, I'm not going to show you this, but like, there's lots of dead centipede on the plastic bottom. And they were even trying to crawl out. So they were like, like trying to crawl out the pot to escape. I'm <laughs> sorry. He's upset that he can't find his train toy, which he left in the car. If we live in a house, then I could just run down and get it. It's okay, but... This is a condo, and like I need to take the elevator down to the parking lot to get it. So you're just gonna have to wait, okay? Can you find something else to play? Anyway, so that's my finding. So <laughs> since, since they multiply, and there's so many in there, and also they do. The plant. I'm sorry, Wes, but no Shinkansen. They harm the plants. I mean, they harm the roots, so that eventually the plant will die. I'm going to repot. I'm going to um, dump all the soil and wash the roots to make sure everything's everything's gone. Um, and I'm going to even spray the roots with the insecticide spray just to make sure that there's no eggs or anything. So... Let's get started. I'm gonna dump the soil in the garbage bag and if I could find any live one, I will take a video and maybe put it in a footage to show you what they look like. So apparently it's really common. If you buy you know, plants from a big box store, you end up having one of these or it could be many of these. And yeah, like some people said that they're everywhere, you know, even my plant friend, <laughs> she said they're still like crawling <laughs> in her floor. So let's do that. I'm a little bit scared because I don't know how many like centipedes are in there, but I eat like as much as I love touching, like I don't like wearing gloves when I repot. <laughs> I don't think I want to repot with bare hand with this one. I'm going to wear my gloves. I'm sorry, Wes. You can whine all you want, but you're not getting your scene content, okay? You forgot it. You, your toy, you have to take care of it, Wes. I'm sorry. Oh, I have to, there's bugs. You want to see the bugs? Shall we, shall we do this so we can see the bugs? No. Let's, okay, so let's do this. I'm going to dump the soil. Here. Thank you, but I don't need a phone right now. Wes, the bug's going to be in the back. Gonna, yeah. Mommy's going to dump the bug in here, so you're going to have to be careful. Ready? I don't really want to... How should I do this? Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Watch out, Wes. There's going to be bug inside. I'm going to push the pot around. Okay, that's good. I don't want any of the bugs coming out from the pot. Look, look. Okay. Mommy, mommy, put this down here. Okay. I'm already seeing a lot of bugs. Like, on the surface. Wes, you're gonna have to wait. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to wait, okay? If you wanted your scene content, you should have carried it. Mm -hmm. 
you're not a baby anymore. Okay. Okay. I wish I did not water it last night so this way it would come off easily. What do you want, Wes? Garbage. Garbage? I don't want it. Wes, be careful, okay? There's going to be bugs. There's bugs in here. There's going to be lots of bugs. Lots of bugs. Lots of bugs. Don't touch. They're going to bite you. I mean, centipedes won't bite, but I'm just threatening. Because I don't want him to get too close. There's going to be bugs. We're ready yet. No, we're not ready yet. We're not ready. We're not ready yet. No, we're not ready. We're ready yet. No, we're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. Oh. I don't have chocolate. 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 Okay, how about when mommy's done with this, I'll give you a chocolate, okay? <laughs> anyway. Chocolate! <laughs> this is what it likes to be having a two. That is having a terrible two. <laughs> he does not want the lesson. It's like optional hearing. Only hears what she wants to hear. I don't have a chocolate egg, I can give you chocolate later. So anyway, so we, <laughs> I had a Boston, big Boston firm that my cat always liked to nibble on. So I ended up taking that to her because I, they shed so much and like make so much mess as well. And my cat, it's Boston firm and they're not toxic, but somehow she, um, he always vomit after chewing on them. So I, <laughs> I took that and we did a trade. So it's like a plant swap. I mean, Monster Deliciosa, Deliciosa is really expensive here. So I'm so happy that I got this for free. And it's a gorgeous big, big plant. I think it would cost at least $50 if you buy them in this size. So lucky for me. Okay, okay. Do you guys have these kind of bugs in your pot or living in your pots or you just leave it alone or do you dump it all in your pot i mean this is my first time having centipedes so i mean i thought about grabbing one and then if it, if it was a millipede i thought about grabbing one and like putting it in my um sealed tellurium because they, they eat all the dead stuff. So I thought it would be good, but it's not a uh, centipedes, it's a millipedes. So I don't want them. Even though Tellarium is going to be moist. And well, I guess they will eventually run out of stuff to eat and start eating the roots. So not a good idea. Okay. No more, Wes. That's it. No more. No more. Uh uh. It's still morning, Wes. You can't have chocolate. No more chocolate. You ate two. No, not yet. No, not yet. No, not yet. Do you see any bugs inside? No. You I don't Have you see seen it. the bug with the lots of legs? No, this I bug has so many legs. Yeah. It's a lot and lots of legs. Mommy, I want chocolate. Mommy, chocolate. Mm hmm. So, sorry. I was trying to film with my camera today, but um, ran out of battery, so I have to switch to my iPhone again. So I'm gonna be staring at the screen <laughs> of the camera right there. So while I wash the roots, and then I just spray down with the insecticide soap. Um, let me show you what I use. 
Last night I sprayed it with this one and it killed um, the one that I saw. So it doesn't say sensitivity or immediately. I no go over there and it's playing in the room. Um, it doesn't say for um, millipity or centipity, but it, it works fine. So this is what I use. So I just like squirt it out, squirt it, um, sprayed it, sprayed the roots and just leaving it for now for a little bit. <laughs> While I'm doing that, why don't I find, why don't I look for the centipede and put it in a container and maybe videotape it for you so that you can actually check whether if you have a centipede or midipede in your pot, you can identify whether it's a centipede or midipede. Oh, this is like, more like elementary school science. Finding bugs. I remember when I was kids, uh, like second, third grade, it could be first, like first, second, third, I remember, but like young. I used to like on a school um, recess time, I would go around left in the pots to look for lollipollies. And then like I used to bring them back home. I would just put it in my pocket and <laughs> I would just like take it home and like give it to mom. You know, like look, give me your hand and look what I got and like pour all the lollipoly in her hands. <laughs> So, lollipoli do have a lot of legs, but they don't, they're okay, they're cute. Okay. So, millipedes, they are, centipedes and millipedes are like, oh my god, a dinosaur. They are kind of, they lose, look scary, right? Like last night, you know, I was like having this like, I don't know, something, it feels like something's crawling on your leg, even though there's nothing. It's like a mental thing going there. After seeing all those centipedes. Okay, I don't see any, so I must have killed all of it. Um, I'm just gonna use the picture that I took yesterday and explain it to you. Let me clean up here. Um, so I will just gonna, um, you don't really want to see me repotting. Um, I just wanted to show you about millipede difference versus millipede and centipede. So I guess, um, that's it for now. But, um, I hope this video helps. If you do have one of these problems that you can identi identify whether it's a millipede or centipede. Um, I'm sorry it was graphic for you, <laughs> if it was too graphic for you guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's creepy, I know, like so many legs, ew. But, um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!